Ladies and gentlemen, man, I love the Dewan Rakyat. What a place to be. Protocol aside, that's where you can have a mature heated debate on behalf of the Rakyat while having your fellow friends and party members cheer you on like you're in a football match, yelling like you and your squad are the only people in a movie theatre. And you can be political about things and not be called a machai like you would be if you were to talk about these things in public. Oh, and if you're particularly saucy, you can get six months of paid leave like DAP veteran Lim Kit Siang did earlier this year. I wish when I was younger, I could say, when I grow up, I want to be a member of the parliament. Too late for that now, huh? So Gambut MP Lim Lip Eng had quite the experience this afternoon when he got ejected from the special chamber by the Dewan Rakyat Speaker Pandika Amin Mulia. According to Lim, a shouting match erupted when Pandika was trying to lecture him. So before I started talking, Pandika asked me to sit down and he started to lecture me. And uh, he said I, I, really I really killed him outside the Dewan by issuing press statement. The last was on sub -judis. I issued a uh, press statement on sub -judis. I say if uh, Panika logics is applicable, then it is uh, applicable in uh, for, for, for our court, Malaysian court, to use overseas uh, evidence to implicate the MO1 in Malaysia. So before he finished his lecture on me, I stood up and I argued with him. I said, don't lecture me. Uh, let me, let me uh, finish my German speech. Then he started again, so I called him a disgrace to parliament. Then he chased me out. And uh, before I walk out, he yelled at me, and I yelled, yelled at him back. I say we, we were elected representative, and he's only appointed by MO1. And he yelled at me again, so I walk out. Six people have died and ten more were injured after a fire engulfed the intensive care unit of the Sultana Amina Hospital in Johor Bahru early this morning. Following the evacuation, the fire department said that they managed to pull six bodies from the inferno, all of whom were patients of the medical facility. During a press conference by Health Minister S. Subramaniam, he revealed that eyewitness reports say that the fire broke out in the treatment room next to the ICU. 477 patients were successfully evacuated and are being transferred to other wards in the hospital, while some are being moved to the Sultan Ismail Hospital. The Sultan of Johor, His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim Sultan Iskandar has allowed the affected hospital to use the Royal Ward for patients following the fire. Prime Minister Najib's attendance in Parliament this morning during Minister's Question Time perhaps gave some members of the House a sense of hope that they would be able to debate the budget with him. He took a few questions, including one about the debt level of Malaysia, which stands at 655.7 billion ringgit, or 53% of our gross domestic product. Right after that, however, he didn't hang around. Yesterday evening, however, former Second Finance Minister Husni Hanazla spoke up against the embattled wealth fund One Malaysia Development Berhad and went straight for the exhaust port, asking why it was established in the first place and whether action was taken against the management for channeling funds to the wrong accounts. Just weeks after Shafi Abdal emerged with party Warisan Sabah, former Sabah PKR chairperson Lajim Ukin has formed a new party, Party Harapan Rakyat Sabah. The application was approved two days ago by the Registrar of Societies. The Kilas Assembly person says that Sabah needs to be freed from being a fixed deposit for any political force who only want the support of Sabahans to capture Putrajaya, without respecting the state's position as an equal. Explaining that the time has now come for parties in Sabah not just to rely on any party based in Peninsula Malaysia. He is confident that he will be able to recruit some 2,600 members throughout Sabah and Labuan within a month. And that's the end of the fact sheet. Have any of you ever had a dream of becoming a politician? Or perhaps the Prime Minister? Come, share with us in the comment section. This episode of the fact sheet is dedicated to the Johor Fire Department who worked tirelessly today to rescue those trapped in the inferno at the Sultana Amina Hospital and subsequently a gas station explosion in Taman Mount Austin that killed a worker there. Thank you for your bravery and service to the nation. I'm Daniel Anthony. Thanks for watching.